The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by High Pressure Pneumatics, Air Guns of Arizona, Baker Air Guns, and Air Force Air Guns. You want to check out the links below for all your air gun needs. I finally got the Texan LSS down to the range, and this thing is a monster. Pure awesomeness, as Mr. Hollowpoint would say. Now we're down here shooting the 457 300 grain slugs from Mr. Hollowpoint. Oh, yeah. You can find links to those and more down below in the description. But this thing is killing it at 100 yards. Now, this test right here, this is going to be something different. I've got the MTC optics on here. It's a small optics. The scope can barely fit, so I'm not getting a great image out of it. But I want to show you the drop at 100 yards so you can kind of get an idea of, you know, what you would be dealing with in a hunting situation. It is not regulated, so you will see some drop. That's normal. But as long as you compensate for that and you understand what your air gun is doing, you should be just fine. You're going to get multiple shots out of this thing that are more than capable of taking down big game and uh you know it's just a lot of fun too guys so let's go ahead try these out 300 grains 100 yards down there you're going to get an idea again of what kind of drop i'm getting and what kind of drop you might be able to expect out of your air gun when you pick one up all right 100 yards down there now you notice i'm going to start at the top of the ram and just kind of keep my hold the same each and every time. So let's go ahead. I'm going to hold right about the neck level there. And you're going to notice that it should shoot just a little high. Okay, there it was. Man, I flinched on that. <clears throat> There you go, let's do that again. This time I won't flinch, I promise. Ooh, look at that. Maybe I didn't flinch. I think my scope might be just a hair off. That's all right, we're going to get what we need out of this. So uh, two shots right on the money, unregulated. See if we start to see just a little bit of a drop here. You can probably feel the wind or hear the wind. It's pushing me to the right. That might explain for why I'm just a little bit off right now. Okay, now we start to see the drop. So we had two great money shots there at 3,000, was it 3,500 PSI, Phil? Keep that hold the same. You see the wind must have died down just a hair as that slug started to migrate back towards the crosshairs. Okay, not bad. You got two and two. So you got two slugs up the top, then two that dropped just a little bit. Let's see what slug number five does. Again, keeping that hold the same, I'm trying to be as consistent as possible for you guys so you can get a good idea of what to expect. Oh yeah, I got a little bit more. Wind's dying down a little bit. Almost, what was that, top of the leg now? So, okay, not bad. We'll go for one more. We'll get six shots out of this. I'm going to show you that how powerful these are. I got the chronograph data, and you can see how much power each shot has as you work your way down the fill pressure, at least with the 300 grain slugs. All right, see if we can keep it there on the leg. Yeah, there we go. I think we got a pretty good representation there of exactly what to expect and we can go down there we can measure it i can go back on the scope cam and i can look at my holdover write it down and of course i can also calculate based on the speed what would happen at 50 yards 75 yards uh what 25 yards if i were to get that close to a big game but that 
is pretty impressive, guys. If you haven't watched the American Air Gunner, you will know that recently we've been taking this on a lot of hunts. Got some big games, some bears, some sheep, a whole bunch of different things going on over there. I might put a link to one of those videos down below too. You might just like to see exactly what it can do in real life situations. But man, this thing is awesome. Hey, until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth. Those pellets, or should I say slugs, fly straight. And we'll see you again next time on the Airgun Advisor. <laughs>